From the US, the beautiful country of Belize is just a short two and a half hour flight from Houston or Miami. Coming in through the clouds, you will notice the lush green jungles, marsh-like rivers, and finally the aqua blue of the Caribbean Sea. Most tourists fly into the port city of Belize City, and it is from here that they head off to either the sleepy southerly beach towns, inland for the jungles, or farther out to sea to stay at one of the several islands off the coast. One of the most popular places to visit is the island of Amargus Key. Reachable by both sea or air, I decided to take the ferry to save a few bucks and see all the surrounding islands by water. This is Amargus Key, the largest and most popular island here in Belize. I'm going to be checking out some of the downtown area before heading off to my resort. Historically a fishing village, San Pedro hasn't changed entirely. You won't find any high-rise hotels or American brands taking away from its unique charm. Nestled throughout town are many different hotels, guest houses, and restaurants from modest to magnificent. We're about to check out Elvis Kitchen, the oldest restaurant in Amberges Key. I'm going to make a homemade hot sauce here and I'm going to try it out so it's really hot. And by the way, I've lost my words. So I'm going to have to put what I'm saying in little words on this one. And I'm hoping it's going to give my voice back. I don't like hot sauce, so a drop of the is enough. You won't see a lot of cars in Ambergus Key, but what you will see are golf carts. The town of San Pedro is the only place where you can drive a car here, and the rest of the island is reserved for golf carts, bicycles, and you. One of the things I love about San Pedro and Belize in general is that it's so authentic. You won't find any big brands here like McDonald's, Burger King, or Walmart, but what you will find is locally caught fish, fresh vegetables, and locally made arts and crafts around every corner. Some say it is the Caribbean of 40 years ago, a throwback to the days before cruise ships, duty-free shops, and discount jewelry. The authenticity of this country will keep you coming back time and time again. Many of the more private and exclusive resorts are also located north of San Pedro town and accessible by boat or golf cart. I chose to stay at the Portofino Beach Resort with on-site restaurant, its own dive center, and a swimming pool. It had everything that I was looking for in a fantastic small boutique hotel. From Portofino's on-site dive center, I was able to head out to Mexico Rocks to do some exploring in the reefs. Belize has some of the most diverse marine ecosystems in all of Central America, making it one of the best places in the world for scuba diving and snorkeling. Within my first few moments in the water, I came face to face with a nurse shark, and I also got to swim with a sea turtle and a stingray. Exploring some of the reefs, I saw lobsters, starfish, and all kinds of other marine life.
The island of Ambergris Key is surrounded by mangrove forest on one side, and it is protected by the rougher waters of the Caribbean by an atoll that stretches the entire length of the island. The reef that surrounds the island is part of the second largest barrier reef system in the entire world, stretching for more than 240 miles. The reef system is a World Heritage Site and a national park. Known as the Belize Barrier Reef System, it is also home to the Great Blue Hole. Made famous by Jacques Cousteau, it is a giant submarine sinkhole, a natural anomaly unlike any other on Earth. More than 10,000 years ago, the rising waters at the end of the last ice age would have engulfed this enormous cavern system. Eventually, the roof collapsed and it left this giant ring we can see from above. It's been said that the Blue Hole and nearby Lighthouse Reef have some of the world's best diving. So after seeing it from the sky, I rose early to hop on a boat and headed nearly 60 miles off the coast to explore the caverns from the sea. The Great Blue Hole is the largest formation of its kind in the world at more than a thousand feet across and more than 400 feet deep. Ascending into the depths we passed 60 feet, where the sandy ocean floor gave way to the hole. As we went deeper, the light diminished, and soon we were left in utter darkness. Open and advanced divers can go to a depth of 140 feet. As we dropped into the darkness of the cave, huge stalactites came into view from the murky depth. Due to the depths, you have just seven minutes to explore. So it wasn't long before we headed back for the surface. While the depths of the hole may not be a lot to look at as far as marine life goes, the shallower waters within the blue hole have enormous amount of colorful corals and fish. Sharks are by far one of the most misunderstood species in the ocean. Beautiful and graceful, I was lucky to be able to swim side by side with several Caribbean reef sharks. A species on the decline, it is one that few people will ever see in the wild. The Belize Barrier Reef has more than 60 species of coral, and I saw dozens of types from tube to star and staghorn to many more in between. It was some of the healthiest reef I have ever seen. Prior to our dive, we had been warned about moray eels. So when one came jumping out of a nook in the wall, I almost jumped out of my wetsuit with fright.
For one fleeting moment, I saw the creature I had been hoping to see all day, an eagle ray. And I watched as it soared away into the blue. After diving, we headed to the Belize Natural Monument of Half Moon Key. Known for its biodiversity and its colony of the red-footed booby, the island is absolutely beautiful and looks like it's straight out of the movie Castaway. I was lucky enough to be visiting when the birds were nesting. From the viewing platforms, you are actually at the same height of the nesting birds, which is probably one of the most spectacular sights I have seen. The island, aside from being beautiful, is also home to a thriving iguana and gecko population and lots and lots of hermit crabs. A little crab. Hello, Mr. Crab. Hello. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out. After a fantastic dive trip to the Blue Hole, it was time to head back to Ambergris Key.